Hi everyone, Catherine from Bugling and Embroidery Designs here. Today I want to show you how to make the lighter pocket snap tab embroidery designs. Um, the, here's a sample. This is the one I'm going to show you today. It has some flames on it. So there are four different steps for the flames in the design. The first thing I do is I hooped some cutaway stabilizer. I like to use cutaway. It gives my um, designs a little more stability and I ran the very first step which is the placement stitch right onto my stabilizer. So um, that's where I'm at right now. So the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to pull my hoop off real quick and I am going to take a piece of marine vinyl and as usual you can use many other fabrics like reinforced cotton or glitter vinyls or uh, leatherette type stuff. Um, there are so many different vinyls on the market right now. There are many I haven't even tried yet. So what I want to do is I want to cover my design and just make sure that I'm covering about a half inch all around and I'm just going to quickly tape that down a little bit just so it doesn't shift in my hoop at all and I'm going to re-hoop that and I am going to run all four steps of the flames right onto my vinyl. starting the last color. have stitched and if you look at your design the very uh, the next two steps are a stitch across the top of the pocket of the snap tab and then the 
second is the final outline around. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we use the same color thread for the last two steps. So what I'm going to do is I've picked gray to go on my silver. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch the top of my pocket right onto my vinyl. Okay, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to add your piece of fabric to the back of your hoop. So here I am. I've this is what I've stitched so far. And then if I turn over my hoop, I'm going to add a piece of fabric over the back, same idea of covering the design by, there we go. Okay, covering the design by at least a half inch all the way around. So I'm going to take that to the back of my hoop. This is just some sticky tape. Uh, it feels just like masking tape. Okay, so I have taped down my back fabric. I'm going to place it back in, making sure I'm in the same direction that I need to be for the rest of my design. And I'm going to pop that in, and I am going to stitch the final step using that same color just to give it a uniform look. Every time I stitch lately, I keep forgetting I moved my machine and now I need to re-level it. So I need to take a level and level my feet. So that's why you see a little extra vibration happening right now. Normally it's not jumping that much. Okay, yes, we heard you, well, you're done. Okay, so we are done stitching and all you're gonna do is just pop that out of your hoop. So I just pop mine out and then I am going to just quickly rough cut around my design to get the bulk out of my way. So what you see here is this is the front and this is the back. Depending on if your machine cuts jump stitches or not um, and ties them off you might have a little bit of knots here and there. I usually just trim as close as I can to those threads and this one too um, I should have mentioned in the beginning it's always good for in the hoop projects to try to match your bobbin thread to your top stitching if you can I did not on this one I forgot I had black in there so um, it looks a little two-toned on the back, if you can see that. Um, it doesn't really matter. Most people won't care. Usually when I make something for someone, they're like, I love it! And they don't really care about those little silly things. But some people do, so um, that's entirely up to you. So next thing I'm going to do is I like to cut my design starting at the snap tab and I hold my scissors slightly outward creating a little bit of an undercut and I go all the way around the design and I like to pretend that there is an invisible line around my design 
and I try to follow that invisible line so that way when I'm done cutting my stitches look uniform oh, not my stitches my cutting looks uniform around the stitches oh, I'm really tired my eyes are like all pink and so I think my brain's already going to sleep but I promised someone this video today and I am up past my bedtime and I am getting it done okay so now I've cut it out and it looks really good um, I don't think I messed up except for maybe a little bit right there but you can't tell right it looks really good okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see me add snaps to this all right so what I want to do is I'm going to fold this over and look at it and decide where I'm going to put my snap I'm going to put it right here so what I would like to do is I'm going to take my leather punch and I am going to hold it right there so I'm like about right in the center and press down so now I have two holes and I'm going to put a snap in one this is a size 20 cam snap and then I'm going to put a socket on one and I'm going to use my pliers setting the snap part into the little bowl little pocket bowl there and give it a squeeze so now you know your snap is on if you see that it is spread a good amount of the bottom of the snap so what that is is this snap the top probably about third or fourth of it gets flattened and that's what holds your snap on so oh, while I have this one in, oh I hope you could see that um, but anyway the top fourth of this I forgot to look at the camera instead of my hands okay so I'm gonna put the next one on but this time I want to put a stud on so I'm gonna grab a stud come on stud my snaps are sliding around on me here we go I got a winner okay so now I have a stud. I like to squeeze a little bit, making sure that enough is sticking out in there. So that way when I go to use my pliers and put it on, same thing. Can you see it there? Flattened that. So now when you put them together, it snaps. Okay? So now the next thing we want to do is we're going to choose some sort of you don't you actually you don't even have to you could actually snap this onto something that you already own but i like to provide my customers with some sort of little swivel these are swivel lobster clasps this is a one inch style this is a large it's got a wide flat split ring so it opens this one is actually my current favorite which is the three-fourths inch opening so this is the one I'm gonna use but I'm just wanted to show you that there are many styles out there this one has a small thin split ring there is uh, colored ones out there there's some that are styled like um, like ones you use for dog leashes and such there's just so many things out there it's awesome okay so you just slide that 
right on there and snap it down and then a person can hook this to you know their purse their jeans zipper whatever they would like to hook it to now the next thing I do is I open up this a little bit and you take a lighter and you're just gonna insert it in there and you want to give it a good push because I made it so it fits snugly to like the Bic style lighters so it is not going anywhere especially keep that cutaway stabilizer in there if you decide to use cutaway um, I the very first one I did uh, months ago um, it is still going strong working well so uh, there you go this is let me zoom out oh okay so easy peasy right that was pretty darn easy and they're fast uh, very fast to make so uh, people can use the lighter right with it inside um, I haven't had any issues with all the testers I've done um, I sat and tested it out over and over but uh, that's entirely up to you and what you want to tell your customers um, whether or not they should use them within there because of course anytime you're using flames it's use at your own risk please be safe and all that other fun safety stuff so anyway it's all done if you have any questions for me uh, please uh, feel free to use the contact form on the website or find me in the Facebook group uh, always happy to help um, I do apologize I did take uh, quite a bit of a break from Bugalina due to some health issues and between myself and my son uh, things got crazy for a while but I am back I'm back I'm back I'm back I promise I'm back this time and I'm looking forward to uh, making lots of new designs and uh, socializing with all of my Bugga fans uh, I love you guys and thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate it and I hope you have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. Um, I will see you around. Thanks. Oh, I couldn't remember where I put the rope. There you go. Bye guys.